Yo, what's up? Yo, what's up, guys? To Black Sea Legends back with another video today. In this video, guys, today we're gonna be learning how we could use get children in Roblox, and we're gonna be setting off an example by basically we're gonna basically like make a row of kill bricks. Like we're gonna enable each kill brick one by one. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that today. Let's start off now. So what we're gonna do is we're first gonna add four parts, okay? Let's add like four parts. You can add like the amount that you want, but I'm gonna add four parts. And like basically I'm gonna consider these as like kill bricks. So all these basically we're gonna make them kill bricks. How about we call it a part too? Let's make it like red. And also we can make it like neon. Or we can make it as lava actually. Yeah, crack lava, just like this. That, that, that looks nice. A quick note before we start scripting this time model, you see that you first have to group this model. So like after you like get the lava set up, you have to group it. And then you need to make a kill script for each part and put it in each one and set it as disabled, okay? So if you guys don't know how to do a kill script, then I highly advise going to my channel, referring back to my previous tutorials because I talked a lot about kill about like the kill scripts and how you could kill players and I showed like many different ways on how to do it so if you want to like learn how to make the script so you could like follow along with the tutorial then please refer back to my previous tutorials aside from that let's get the script going now what I like to do is I want to add a script to server script service and let's name this the code in server script service as code or something else other than then like you script inside the part so the system won't be confused so we're gonna type local and actually guys before we even actually like start coding in service script service I like to group the parts first because we're gonna be co connecting this we're gonna be declaring a variable that connects to this part I mean to that model so we're gonna type local we could say local group equals to workspace dot and this is Whatever your model's name is, I'm going to just keep it as model because I have nothing else. But feel free to change it too. And now let's type local step equals to group. So we're going to connect this to the first variable. And then we're going to type colon get children just like this. Now after that, let's skip two lines or like one line actually. And now we're going to type four underscore comma step in i pairs and then parentheses steps and let's actually put this as with the s over here so now it works and then now we're going to type space do hit enter now we got the statement set up so what this statement is saying is that basically this is another way of saying each step and then i pair steps they're like variables arrays all that stuff this, this is basically what we did. So we're connected to this variable and we're saying for each step, each thing in get children. And basically get children is saying like it's all these, all inside the model. So we're connected to each one. And that's basically what we're doing. And now what we're going to type is we're going to type step dot script. I think that's what we named it inside. equals to I mean step dot script dot enabled equals to true afterwards let's put a task wait for 10 seconds so we can see like each one do it and how about like in fact if we want to see like which one actually like changes color let's change it to green so we're gonna type step dot break color equals to brick color and then how about we make it colon green just like this all right guys now we're gonna test the game because we got the scripts up we basically like we put we use our get children function and now this should work so what i'm expecting to happen is when i join in each you see over here this brick is green right so if i try touching the red nothing happens but if i touch the green I'm dead because they enabled the script on that one but the others they didn't another example of this happening is at that break like you saw the other side like I couldn't touch it and let's see if I could spawn so you see the red one I cannot die from it 
But if I touch this one, I'm dead. Same thing happens for the third. And now, let's test the third, actually. So, I think this is the third one. With that, you see it, it legitly work. And the fourth one is the last one. So, you see when we spawn in, this is the fourth brick. The last one that turned green. We touch it. We're dead now, guys. And you could see all this happening too. Let's try replaying. I'm gonna just run it to make it faster. And we're gonna open the workspace model. And let's see all the scripts. So this part over here is the one that's enabled right now. This is the one that's enabled next. As you see, you can see like the color difference. Like it turns brighter, more vibrant when it's enabled. But like more, I don't know how to say, but like more faded when it's not enabled you see like the color happening and you see the script happening too you could also see for like this one you could see the check turns blue when the the script enable it and this is over here this line just does everything and yeah guys this is basically how you make this is basically how you could use get children to like activate each brick to do a certain feature hope you guys enjoyed the video if you do please like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video Bye, guys.